impact and engagement are needed not just for climate goals, but also for social goals, such as diversity, equality and inclusion. Let's talk about climate risk. And no, I'm not talking about emissions only. It's so much more than that. If you agree that the last two years have been super challenging, what do you think we have to expect the, when the full downside of climate change arrives? And it will not take 100 years to feel that. We are already feeling it. The finance industry is very focused on risk. And I'm asking myself, if this is so, why are we, its participants, acting so slowly? What's stopping us? The misunderstanding of the risk? Climate change will impact your life, your work, your food, and your resources. Some countries will be more impacted than others, at least at the beginning. If policymakers are not able to address the issues on time, if we're not able to shift our investments and finance the climate change, what do you think will happen in those countries? Will people accept that they have not, for example, enough water or that there is no plan for heat waves? I don't think so. If you believe that these are not opportunities to invest in, I can tell you they are and the opportunities will grow further. So what are the topics we need to address? The SDGs are a good guidance for that, but let's have a look on the themes which we need to explore. Sustainable food and agriculture, Yes, definitely we need to have a look on that. Green energy, I guess I don't have to say anything, you heard it before. Education, financial well-being, for sure. Technology, definitely. Sustainable mobility and infrastructure, yes. Did you recognize something? All the things are needed and at the same time an opportunity. So let me ask you again, what's stopping you to invest with impact?